Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to see how we can create a simple time of request. So let's get started. To access your time of request page, you will have to navigate to my calendar. So you can simply drag and drop. Click on time of request. And here you will get the time of request window where you can select your start date, end date, vacation, or whatever type of time of request that you want to submit and the unit. So if your unit is hours, you can also select the hours so that you can enter your start time and the daily amount total. So I'm going to select uh, a start date. Let's say I'm going to select uh, somewhere next week, 18th. And the end date by default sets up to the date. But if you want to have uh, consecutive days applied like 18 to 19th you can do so you can select your pay code from the drop down and if your accruals are based in hours or days you can select accordingly so i'm going to just select full day and at the bottom of this page you can also see that how much accrual balance do you have as on that particular day and if you want to project or see how much balance you would have by the end of the month or perhaps by the end of the year, you can also navigate to using this calendar and you will see how much balance you would have by the end of the year. You also have an option to add notes if you want to tell something to your manager while submitting the time of request. And once I'm done selecting my start date, end date, pay code and time unit, I can click on submit. Having said that, there is also an option to add rows. For example, if you want to submit requests for 18th and 19th, and then you also have some request next month, and you want to submit a request on the 23rd. So you can also have multiple rows added in the same request. So now the manager will request receive requests for 18th and 19th at the same time, 23rd, as well so you don't have to have two requests created in the same request you can have multiple rows added and for different dates you can submit the time of request and i'm going to click on submit and you will see that on my calendar for the days that i've submitted if i change the view to monthly view you can see Let me change the pay period to next period. And you can notice that for the days when I've submitted the time of request, it is telling that I have submitted vacation when you hover your mouse on the arrow. So likewise, the manager will receive a notification when he or she logs into the time of request, or they will also get an email. And once that is approved, when you come here, you will see that the submitted vacation, the notification that you see here, it will change to some vacation approved. So that is how you can submit a time of request. It's a pretty simple step. On your calendar, you will have request time off and you can select the, the dates, whichever date you want to submit. And you can click on uh, the pay codes and your uh, put some notes if you want to optional and click on submit. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day, everyone.